My head hurts. Wait, don't you go peeking on me too? I can only be so many places at once, Mars. Oh, shut up. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm about to get an elbow in the gut. Message received. So, how did it go? Uh, great. You look amazing, of course, and we got all the shots you wanted. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Did you guys want some food before you go? There's plenty left. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Thanks. It's no problem, really. I... Harlan? Caitlin? What? Oh my god, I haven't seen you in like 27 years. Yeah, what the hell are you doing here? Working. Did you know each other? Yeah, we were in school together since, what, fourth grade? Second. Right! No, but yeah, we were best friends like all the way through high school. No kidding! You're from New York? Yep. You were best friends with my fiance's cousin. Small world, huh? Yep. Hey, boss, we should probably get going, right? Oh, no, you have to come say hi to Margo and Lexi. They'll be so excited to see you. Will, will they, though? <laughs> come on. Okay, not the arc. Okay. You two, eat, please. I'll join you in a minute. I just have to find my vomit. So we should probably... Yeah. So Maya. Harlan. Right, Harlan. Sorry, um, are you seeing anyone right now? I'm for you. Yes. Uh, along with being a common collaborator with my company, Remy is also my boyfriend. Aww. Well, you're adorable. But you're wearing a wedding ring. Oh. I am platonically married to my best friend. We have three kids together. Harlan and I met and started dating in college, broke up when I dropped out, and then eventually got back together again at my partner's suggestion. Oh. oh. So you're a polygamist then? Yeah. Polyamorous. A little different. Mm. Well, thanks for that. I got booze. Thank you, honey. Yes, Maddie. Oh, thank, God. thank you. Uh, sorry, can't. Uh, come on, you're off the clock. Yeah, but I'm also 16 years sober next week. So. Oh wow. Okay, congrats, man. What do you two do all the time then, if you won't drink? Right. Well, I would tell you, but I promise to be professional today. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Funny. She actually let you touch her? That was always cool. What? <laughs> Dude! Dude, what the hell? Don't see how that's any of your business. Humor me. By mocking me when I'm sitting right here. You brought this on yourself, Maya. Harlan. It's okay. Wow. You actually went out and found people to feed the delusion, huh? What delusion would that be, Greg? You know damn well what delusion, Maya. Harlan. No, okay, it's this bullshit that broke us up in the first place, Maya. And all you can do is come crawling back with a second-rate version of me. Bitch! You keep your mouth shut or you'll be swallowing your own teeth in a minute. Oh, I'm starting to want you to make me. Greg, I have been nothing but professional this week. Your fiancé hired me. I didn't know it was you she was marrying, and by the time I found out, it would have been too last minute for me to duck out or else you wouldn't have had a photography team. I have been doing my best to work with this so that we all walk away happy. How exactly is that crawling back? You're bringing your fucking boyfriend here wasn't necessary. A member of my team got sick. I needed a substitute. He's a photographer. And I'm sorry if I needed the support after you kept hitting on and dead naming me. Oh, you enjoyed that, don't lie. Oh yeah, I love being pinned to a wall by my ex while his fiancé is not only in the other room over, but is also currently my employer. Fiancé might have been you if you just learned your place. See, Aubrey knows hers. Oh, do I? <laughs> Bunny. And what place is that, sweetheart? Well, you know, as, uh, as my wife, future mother of my children. Mm, making a lot of assumptions there. What? No, you already said yes, you took the ring, you can't take it back now. Oh, this ring? This one? Your grandmother's ring that you didn't even bother to get resized for me, so I've been uncomfortable and fidgeting with it for months? Who cares if it fits? That ring's almost 100 years old. You didn't even notice, did you? Stop getting so hysterical. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. You know, this is so typical of you. You never notice a thing about me because you're too wrapped up in yourself. You know, my friends are right. You are a fucking narcissist. Oh, the same friends who dropped you the second we got engaged? You always do this. You blow everything up out of proportion and then act like I'm the bad guy. Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. Train wreck. Hmm. Well, hey, it was nice of them to still pay us, right? Hey, Buster, they paid us. Your payment was the trip. And the scolding hot tea this whole mess brought. Okay, I love this kid. <laughs> hey, come on, look on the bright side. You just saved that poor woman from a really messy divorce. I know. 
kind of bad for Greg. Hey, boo! Yeah, d don't bother, babe. Dude's a prick by, like, every possible metric. But, yeah, I know, but... If he doesn't grow out of it, he's just gonna be alone forever. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy if I didn't want it. I would. Fuck him. Don't actually, though. I'd be sad. Mm. Yeah, don't make Dad sad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weird.